up minds up y'all it's your girl takia diamond and i just wanted to tell you thank you thank you thank you so much for tuning in with me today you are amazing you are awesome and so am i by the way if you haven't noticed <laughs> and today we are going to tackle five ways that you can actually use gratitude to improve your attitude because when you have a, a, an attitude of gratitude it actually opens up so many windows for you to be able to receive so much more in your life those things that you want those things that you've been hoping to receive those things that you know you've been just wanting to get your hands on sometimes you block the flow right but I can promise you that when you take a moment to just be grateful for the things that you have already for the opportunities that have already presented themselves and even looking to be grateful in advance for things that you say that you desire that are on the way to you as long as you're not blocking it and the way that you block it is when you have doubts you block it all right so we're going to talk about um at the end of the day, you know, five ways to use gratitude to actually help you out, to help you raise your vibration so that you could be a little more in the flow and have things coming to you like lightning speed. Like today, you guys witnessed it. For those of you who watched my live from earlier, I got a big gift bag today from my best friend, Peace Queen. Shout out to you. Thank you, Peace. And, um... And so, you know, it, it sparked something in me to just share with you guys what was given to me so that I could share how grateful that I am so that you can understand it's all right to receive. It's all right for people to do things for you. You don't have to do everything for yourself. And even when you set your intentions on things that you say you want in your life, it doesn't always have to be your money or it doesn't always have to be you going out to get it. Sometimes the universe will transpire situations for the things that you wanted to show up and it might not be something that you did in order to make it happen okay not that you didn't do anything to make it happen but like you know somebody else might do it for you rather than you going into the store and buying a new wallet that i got today and buying a new dress like i got today and buying that phenomenal crystal that amethyst hey guys yes 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 thank you guys so much all right so let's hop right into it right guys in our fast-paced environment, right, and uh, we live in this, let me turn this down for a minute, because I'm not sure if it's too loud. All right, so we live in this, in this environment where it's a competitive culture, right? And what, we, and what we tend to do is we tend to notice and we tend to worry about what's lacking in our lives, right? We tend to worry about, I don't have this, I don't know how I'm going to do this, and blah, 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 blah. And we're so, we're so focused on what's not there, right? And sometimes when you're focused on, not even sometimes, if you're focused on what's not there, you end up creating more lack in your life, right? So the way to battle that, the way to overcome that is to be grateful for what you do have. Now, I'm not saying don't be open to, um, I mean, don't put forth any action in order to get certain things that you desire. That's not what I'm saying. I want you to take action, okay? I want you to take action, but I also want you to stop focusing on what you don't have because when you focus on what you don't have, you just create more of that, okay? So it's like for us guys, you know, we have this drive to succeed, right? We, um, for whatever reason, we just focus on what stands in our way, right? And no matter what it is, whether it's material items or whether we're talking about the way we look, I don't like my body, I don't like my nose, I don't like my hair, you know, I don't have enough money, or I'm not famous enough, or whatever status that you're seeking to achieve, you know, I'm not in the perfect relationship, my husband don't love me, my wife don't treat me the way she used to, whatever, 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 just focus, focus, focus on lack, 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 right? But when we view our world from this perspective, guys, it is more dense. Damaging, okay, and what it does is it actually it, it messes up the flow for your success to actually show up for you All right, and what we end up doing when we do that is we set ourselves up It's like we set ourselves up for failure. You know what I mean? We're setting ourselves up to get exactly what we said 
actually to get exactly what you don't want because when you focus on what you don't want you're just gonna continue to get what you don't want right so we have these feelings of insufficiency of not enough right of um imperfection and sometimes people are even envious because other people have those things that they feel that they want you know and you know the key here guys is when we're doing that i don't think a lot of times that we're not realizing that these things actually hold us back okay so it's actually practicing the opposite okay noticing the things that you can appreciate all right noticing that we already have everything that we need within us okay to bring us more happiness to bring more joy into our lives okay it's already there so one thing um that's the most important of all guys is that feeling gratitude for what's going well okay feeling gratitude for what is happening right in your life will actually help you know help things change it will, it will help things to move you know in a different direction so that's the key here is to make sure that we're doing what we need to do you know what i mean and, and making sure that we are staying grateful in the midst of the adversities because there are still things that we can be grateful for in the midst of whatever it is that we might be experiencing at that time right so um i do know this that um gratitude it's like it's like directly associated right with happiness and fulfillment and so this is why i'm making it my business today to kind of help you guys um know like how gratitude can can help you all right i see you i see you i see you if you happen to chat let me know you here so i can show you love all right so here are five tricks five tricks to practicing gratitude and reminding yourself of the good in life all right because when we focus on the good in life what happens we get more of the good in life and that's what we are going to focus on today so let's start with number one and number one is keep a gratitude journal right this is a trick this is a trick because basically guys what you gotta do it's like you have to kind of like you gotta like trick your subconscious mind right it's almost like you got to trick your mind to no longer think the way that it used to think right so if you keep a journal of the different things that you are grateful for you're going to notice more things begin to show up to be grateful for and i can promise you that I, it happened to me today all right so um there was this study that they did right and in this study what happened in this study was they took three groups okay so one group for 10 weeks it was like a 10 week study so for one week they had um they had this group do gratitude statements every day for 10 weeks right then they had another group that had to write statements about what was going wrong in their life like what they were irritated about what they were displeased about right and then they had another group that they gave um their assignment was to not think about anything being grateful not think about anything to be ungrateful but to just write about things every day about just things that are happening just neutral neutral just neutral things right and so what ended up happening in this study was obviously those people who wrote down the gratitude, you know, think, looked for things to be grateful for, for that um, 10 weeks, right, that they did this, their lives, they, they basically began to find things to be more appreciative in life and things started to show up for them that they were actually grateful for. They became optimistic. They said uh, in this study, they said like their, um, their energy went up and even a lot of their health increased. Okay, like they were in better health. And then the ones that focused on neutral and the ones that focused on things that irritated them or got on their nerves or whatever the case may be, they, those um those people obviously didn't get the same results as those people who wrote the gratitude statements on a daily basis all right and so i know that this works so get yourself a notebook a gratitude journal and it only takes two like two minutes guys you mean something like you can't invest two minutes in yourself literally for something that's actually going to help you raise your vibration something that's going to help you evolve on a higher level something that's going to make you feel good about yourself right so 
And, and and not only is it gonna make you feel good about yourself, but it's gonna put you in the vibration of receiving more. You get what I mean? So that's my thing. All right. So go ahead and start a um a gratitude journal if you don't have one already. And what you're gonna do, I'm challenging you on this, guys, to just you know for do it. I mean, even if you wanna do it like once a week. Write in your journal things that happened for the week that you were grateful for that happened through the week. If it's you want to do it daily, go ahead, do it daily. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, write down a note maybe once a month. Do whatever, whatever you feel that is going to resonate with you and whatever you feel that might work for you that's going to help you raise your vibration, then that's what you need to do. So whether... Like I said, it only takes two minutes to write down, you know, I'm grateful that I'm alive today. I'm grateful that I have my hands. I'm grateful that I got my eyes. I'm grateful. You understand what I'm saying? It don't even have to be any big thing that you need to be grateful for. You know what I'm saying? It could be the small things matter the most. And that's the thing is that sometimes we're so busy looking for this really big, big, big thing to be grateful for. But you know what? When you're grateful for the small things, then the big things get to come in. And so that's the part that I, I really, really need you to get. All right? So, um, also, this is also like a good strategy to use like in the workplace. So, if you are an entrepreneur and you have people that work for you or whatever, acknowledge your workers. You know what I mean? Show your workers that you appreciate what it is that they do for your company, right? Because when you do that, what ends up happening is they look forward to coming to work and they actually, um, studies show this too, that they actually begin doing better jobs because they feel like you're opinion matter you know like it, it counted what they did counted all right and so that's that's definitely you know something that you're gonna do all right so number two what you're gonna do is you're gonna write some thank you notes okay write these thank you notes to somebody in your life that made you feel some kind of way that made you feel good right so even if it's it could be whoever maybe it's your mother maybe you want to call your parents and say, Mom, you know, I just want to tell you, you know, thank you for everything that you did for me. Because sometimes, guys, we forget what our parents gave up in order to have us. You get what I'm saying? Sometimes our parents have to give up their lives in order for us to have a life. You know what I mean? And maybe they go work two jobs or whatever to make sure that they can provide for you or whatever the case might be. And we should be grateful for that. You feel what I'm saying? Because maybe they don't live out their dreams straight because your mind was born. <laughs> You came into this world and you messed it up for your mama and your daddy, right? <laughs> All right, I'm just joking. But you ain't messed it up for nobody. If anything, your birth was actually a lesson and a reason for growth for them at the same time. All right? So, yeah, so yeah, yeah. So what you're going to do, guys, is at least just once a week. Because this is how you're going to trick yourself. You know what I mean? You're going to have to trick your subconscious mind to, like, be rewired so that you can be in the flow of receiving. All right? So, um, yeah, you're going to write these thank, thank you notes. Do it once a month. Find somebody each month that you could call and tell them that you're grateful for certain things that they did. And just tell them thank you. Like I said, it don't have to be nothing big because they did something. You know what I mean? In particular. But sometimes you never know how, like hearing thank you or telling somebody you know i really appreciate you or whatever the case might be could really really make somebody feel good all right so that's that is that i just want to make sure that hey katina hey vicky you in la oh my god i'm sorry guys let me get let me get off of here wait wait all right i'll get back to y'all because i'm in the middle of my live right that's why i won't be liking to look at y'all comments i'll be getting all distracted all right <laughs> so um, number three, you know, so I right, got so write, write your thank you notes, find you somebody that you, you know, each month that you're going to say thank you to or whatever the case may be. All right. And that's going to help you. All right. So now another number three is to actually give mental thank yous. So, you know, how sometimes maybe you might not be around the person or maybe something happened. Maybe like there was a, a customer service representative that you might have spoke to on the phone that really, really, you know, helped you out or whatever the case may be. And maybe you did tell them thank you you on the phone but you know how you still feel grateful like oh my god they really got me out of this mess i'm so grateful and thankful for it you don't even have to say it to them you know what i mean like you can have a mental note of you know show mental gratitude because whenever you say like oh my god i'm so grateful and thankful do you realize how your body feels like inside your body 
you just feel like a release. You just feel like thank you. Like, for instance, like, you know, when, when I'm talking to you guys sometimes and I'm helping you out with your life stories and your situations and you guys come to me with, you know, your concerns about things going on in your life, you know, when you leave me or when I leave you, you feel like some weight has been lifted off of you. Why do you feel like that? Because you're really grateful for the information that I gave you. You're really grateful for, you know, having somebody like me to be able to open up your eyes a little bit so that you can see the bigger picture. You get what I'm saying? So, um, yes, do those mental thank yous at the end of the day because they're needed, okay? And so maybe and don't forget... Not only doing thank you letters for other people, guys, don't forget to thank yourself. Thank yourself for some of the things that you do. Like, you know, maybe you made yourself dinner today. Or maybe you had, uh, maybe you went and exercised today. Maybe your body is saying thank you for working me out. I've been waiting for you to get on the treadmill for a minute. You say you want to lose weight, but you won't step foot on that treadmill. Uh huh. <laughs> You know what I mean? So when you take a step forward into your own success and the stuff that you want to achieve, you know, thank you. Say thank you to yourself, too. Thank yourself for taking action. All right. Because it's important to thank you just as much as it's for you to thank anybody else. All right. Number four, you have practice meditation. Y'all know that's that. I love I love meditating. Just being in my peace. Being in my quiet, being in my essence is like the most best, you know, the best thing. So practice meditation or practice prayer, whatever your preference is. I do both. So, you know, it's really just whatever, whatever works for you, right? So I want to say like ever since like the 20th century, you know what I mean? Like when we take it way, way, way back, way back, way back. We had many religious leaders. We had philosophers. You know, we always had uh, people who were practicing gratitude through prayer or through meditation, right? And I think that if you use like a mindfulness meditation, right, and you just focus on everything that, um, like the present moment, like the air that you're breathing, or just having the essence to hear the trees swaying, like just being in the present moment and being grateful for this very present moment that you're alive. You know what I'm saying? It could be the warmth of the sun. It could be your incense burning and you feel good about the smell. You're grateful for the smell that if it smells good or, you know, maybe you, you feeling so peaceful and so calm in the midst of that. Be grateful for the fact that you feel peace and you feel calm. You get what I'm saying? And if you you start to notice that when you start saying things to yourself like, I am peace and I am calm, that your body responds to that. So even if your mind don't want to accept it, your body goes into this different space because there's a different type of molecules and chemicals and all this stuff that's going in your body. They take a different direction. And when they take a different direction, it's actually helping you out. You know what I mean? It's helping you grow. It's helping things line up in a better way so you could be healthy mentally, spiritually, financially, all of those things, all right? And so the last one that I want to say um, is to start, it was, um, oh, the gratitude jar, right? Make sure that, start a gratitude jar. This is really, really helpful. I did this, okay? And this really, really works. I'm telling you, it really makes you feel good, right? So this is how you start a gratitude jar, right? What you're going to do is like things that you're actually grateful for, right? When you do this, what I'm about to tell you guys, you're going to notice how different things start to grow around you, okay? So, what you're going to do is you're going to keep like a little jar. You're going to put your spare change in there. Maybe you want to put a dollar in there for every day that you write in your journal. You get what I'm saying? To um, pat yourself on the back, so to speak, for doing a good job or whatever the case may be, blah, 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 right? So... Whatever it is, however you decide is going to be the reason why you put the money in this jar. You're going to put the money in this jar whenever you do whatever it is. Or you have your spare change, you're going to put it in this jar, right? When the jar gets full, what you're going to do is you're going to use the money to pay it forward. Now, I said use the money and do something for yourself this time, okay? So, I want you to use the money and I want you to do something for somebody else. Because when you do something for somebody else, somebody else is going to do something for you. Let me tell you guys the secret. Uh, there's a, this, this, it's like, it's a secret, but it's not really a secret. But a lot of people are not aware of it. You will get what you want when you help others get what they want. And that is a law 
It's a part of the universal laws, okay? So that's the law of giving and receiving, all right? So back to the jar. You're going to put the money in this jar, and when the, you, the money adds up or whatever, the jar gets full, take the money and go do something nice for somebody. It could be somebody you know. It don't even have to be somebody you know. So I'm going to tell y'all what I did with my jar. When I did with my, and mine's got full, I went and I put, like, dollars, like, in the supermarket between the cans. I went and I put dollars like on the trees, like I thumbtacked it and then I put like little messages on it saying like, you know, God loves you or, um, you know, this is the beginning of your new prosperous life or whatever, you know what I mean? Or I put, be open to receive, but I did, that's what I did. So when you save this money up, you know, when you start the gratitude jar and it fills up, figure out what's gonna feel good for you. Maybe you wanna get your mother some flowers or, or your, your lady some flowers or um, buy something nice for your boyfriend maybe buy him a nice shirt or something or whatever the case might be you get what I'm saying so you know it's just basically like what you want to do all right so you have either maybe get some Starbucks cards or something you know and put them places maybe put them in the parks where homeless people are you know what I mean places where you know that people are going to use what it is that uh, people gonna use money no matter what. They don't know if it's a, I don't care if it's cash or I don't care if it's a, a a card with money on it. People are gonna use it. All right. So those are some things that you could do. And research actually shows that too, guys. That people when they receive good deeds, it actually usually follows up with them doing something good for somebody else. All right. So it's it's like a it's like a, a circle. It's like you help somebody else. If somebody else will help you, and then when some somebody else will help that person for helping you, and you help somebody else, and that's the way that it works, all right? So, I'm talking about the law of, of giving and receiving, okay? And just being grateful for the things that you do have already, and when you do, you know, these things that I identified to you in this live, it's going to help you out a whole bunch, all right? So, real quick, I just want to give you guys a few things that you could be grateful for right now. You ain't got to wait. <laughs> Now you don't got to wait for something to be grateful for. There are things for you to be grateful for right now. Right now. And I'm going to share with you a few things that you can be grateful for right now. Make sure you share this live with me. So, boom. Here's a few things you can be grateful for. You can be grateful for your parents. If you got both of your parents, even if you have one of your parents and they're still alive, you can be grateful for that. Because guess what? If your parents did not get together, there would be no you. You wouldn't even exist, you know what I mean? You wouldn't even exist if your parents, you know, didn't get together. So be grateful for your parents because your existence is because they created you and, you know, all that other key stuff, right? All right. So another thing that you could be grateful for is your legs. The fact that you can walk, okay? There, there are people out here who don't even have legs at all, you know what I mean? People who don't have hands at all. People who are walking around with nubs and stuff like that, you know, but, and we don't know what their situation is. We don't know what happened to them. But you know what? Some of them are the most happiest people in the world. You know what I mean? So there are things to, you know, other things to be grateful for that you have right now that you could be grateful for, okay? You want to also, you could also be grateful for your teachers. You could be grateful for your teacher like me. Uh, why? Yes, you could be grateful for me. Why? Because, you know what? In order for you to evolve, somebody else has to show up in order for you to grow, right? So you could be grateful for the person that actually helped you grow. And to be honest with you, you could be grateful for life's experiences, okay? You need to be grateful for life experiences because those experiences did not happen to you. They happened for you. And because you grew from them and because you learned from them that's how you became who you are today so be grateful for life experiences okay you could be grateful for the sun the sun is is there it's shining it warms up the earth it makes the earth feel good you could be grateful for the earth you could be grateful for your car some people got to take the bus but you could be grateful for the bus because that's how you get to work you get what i'm saying so when you guys start writing in your journal and you start writing down you know three things a day that actually that you're grateful for 
you're gonna notice like there's so many little things. If you have internet connection, some people don't have internet connection, and it's the most frustrating thing when you're trying to get something accomplished and you don't have internet, right? Your cell phone, you be grateful for your cell phone. If you need to contact anybody, you can pick up your phone, dial a number, and boom, you get a hold of them. You get what I'm saying? Oxygen. There's so many different things, guys. There's so many different things that you could be grateful for, okay? And so I say that to you today, guys, because I know the importance of showing gratitude and having an attitude of gratitude is guaranteed to help you evolve is guaranteed to open you up to receive more of the things that you say you want anyway all right and so i hope that this live has been an inspiration for you i hope that you have learned something and it has gotten you all geared up to be grateful i hope you walk out your door today feeling good and and blessed and favored and all of that other wonderful stuff right yes 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 and i just want to say thank you last but not least once again for for tuning in with me you know for checking me out and for for for, for watching what it is that i'm doing to actually help you to grow within yourself all right so minds up now make sure you visit the website at www.kiadiamond.com and uh, if you don't have any of my books yet, what are you waiting for? Hit me up. Let's get one of those books in your hands. Whether it's Get Your Life Together. Whether it's Seven Things You Need to Change to Change Your Life. Whether it's um, uh, Wisdom Words of Consciousness. Um, and coming to you soon is From Poverty to Profit. So get yourself one of these guys so that it can help you out is it's gonna help you evolve it's gonna help you expand it's gonna help you do something really really great you know in your life okay so just choose to never lose all right minds up y'all i love you i love you i love you and um please make sure that you share this live share it share it share it share it with the world let the world know i'm here all right so minds up y'all deuces i'm out of here Mind that.